showing the maestro for the first time here in Manitoba at the 2017 Ag Days. And one thing that we've been seeing here over the past few years uh, in Manitoba, southern Saskatchewan areas, and even just right across the border in the northern North Dakota, is a, is a big swing in crop rotations. Uh, a lot of customers are looking more to corn if they're not already. Uh, soybean acres are definitely increasing in the area, as well as you know, the, the base crop you know, of, of canola. Um, with the Maestro planner, we have proven here this year uh, through quite a few field tests, uh, the yield capacity of the planner when it comes to lowering seed rates. Uh, we did some tests uh, just in Langdon, North Dakota this year where we were doing some uh, comparisons with the single disc drills coming in at half the canola seed rate and maintaining the same yield. So I mean, the, uh, the yield, uh, yield uh, maintaining the yield is definitely there uh, and also the cost input management of uh, managing the seed cost is there too. And for the customer that's coming in now with you know more soybean acres, more corn acres, and more canola acres, whereas wheat is kind of going to a third or fourth you know choice in the rotation, uh, guys are looking more at managing those three crops which can be done a lot better and a lot more efficiently through a planter than say with a typical air seeder. Mm -hmm. So has this planter been designed with, with canola in mind? Traditional planter has been for, for corn and soybeans. It, it, is this suited for canola? Yes, we, we have a special disc that we use. It's a very simple conversion on our meter for seeding canola. Um, the, the, the reasoning that the planter works better in canola than say some you know, other uh, technologies that are on the market is just the precise placement of the seed. Um, canola usually has a very high mortality when it goes through regular air systems and uh, regular air seeders, whereas the planter is a lot gentler on the seed. The other advantage with it is, is we have pinpoint precision when it comes to depth, as canola is a very depth sensitive seed. Whereas you take uh, certain technologies on the market, you know, that are presumed to be precise today, like your precision hoe drills, et cetera, um, there is still a lot of variation and a lot of outside influences that can affect performance of depth of those machines. And the biggest difference that you have between the planter and those machines is simply your point of seed drop to your point of depth gauging, or de gauging your depth. So the point where I gauge my depth at to where I drop my seed at on a lot of machines has got quite a bit of distance to it, so it creates a lot more variability. On a planter, it's an exact line. Where my seed drops is the center line for my gauge wheel. So no matter what terrain that I have in front of me, I'm always you know, constantly compensating for that versus, say, an independent shank type machine that, can have, that has really no way to look ahead or, or no way to adjust for what's ahead of it. Another thing that's different uh, or catches the eye is, is the tire behind you. That's not yes. a, a typical planter tire. Yeah, exactly. Um, this has probably been one of the biggest things that guys have talked about yet. Yeah, it's probably one of the simplest when it comes to the design of the machine. Uh, most of your central fill planters on the market today use smaller rubber tires in the back. They'll use like a set of four, uh, whatever. The, the problem with that is, is those work good in dry conditions, but when it gets wet outside with all that weight, you have no footprint. Uh, basically to help hold up the machine. And with tires, you know, large diameter tires always work best in mud compared to, you know, short, you know, fatter tires. And that's where we have a big advantage. I mean, we get into all types of different conditions with this planter. Not saying that it's going to plant, you know, perfectly in mud, you know, but if you do get into a situation where you're going to get stuck or get out, you've got, you got a lot better chance of getting out with this machine than you will with something with a lot smaller tires. Mm -hmm. Does that kind of cover the main Stuff or is there yeah, else? I mean, some of the some of the other points on the planter is we do in row fur, uh, in furrow fertilizer. I'll, what if I I'll cut this and I'll ask a question about that. Yeah, okay. yeah. What about uh, the nutrient options or, or or terms of fertilizer placement relative to seed? Most of the guys that would be using this planter for canola would either be putting their nitrogen down in the fall, say like knifing in hydrus, or they would come in, in the spring and do a spring spread and then incorporate you know prior to using the Maestro planter. The fertilizer options that we do have on the planter revolve around putting fertilizer in furrow. So when it comes to canola, you know, you can put down micronutrients such as phosphorus, uh, sulfur, uh, guys that are doing uh, soybeans with these machines can put inoculant into the liquid system of the tank. This particular planter behind us is our 24 row 30 planter, has a thousand gallons of liquid. And the unique thing about our liquid system on our planter is that we basically uh, plumb that very similar to a sprayer. So we have constant agitation in the system, whereas most planters on the market only have an old squeeze pump or an on-demand pump where those other additives and other materials that you'd put in your liquid fertilizer would settle out. So it keeps everything in constant suspension as you're going through the field. You mentioned this is 24 row. What are the options in terms of, of widths and, and row spacings? 
right now we're on two, two different platforms. We're on a 40 foot platform and then we're on a 60 foot platform. On the 60 foot platform, we have a 30 inch, a 20 and a 22 inch. And then on the 40 foot platform, we have a 15, 20, 22 and 30 inch configurations. So several options. Yes. Yeah. Uh, one note too, like on the 40 foot uh, planters where we do the 15 inch row option um, has been a very popular planter in this part of the world when it comes to uh, the diversity of crops. We know here in the Northern Plains that 15 inch soybeans tend to you know, have higher yield um, advantage over say 30 inch. So I can take one machine and plant 15 inch beans. I can do my 15 inch canola, lift up every other row unit and do 30 inch corn.